Are you crazy? You killed me! I'm Karen, little girl! Wait! Look at you! Look at you! Look at you! I dare you! I don't get paid enough to deal with shit like this. I don't get paid enough to deal with shit like this. Welcome back to What the Hell, Karen? A weekly satirical series on Karen and the entire Karen family. Karen's daughter woke up refreshed and ready to meet the new day. Thinking her dad should drive her anywhere she wants to go, she waits in his parked car for him to satisfy her demands. Okay. Why isn't she getting out? I don't know. She's got a lot of problems in life. I can't seem to solve them. So I offered to give her a ride and now... This is my dad and I think he's... Uh, I, don't I don't know exactly what's going on, but he has the key to the car, so I'm just waiting on him to get out of the building. You're waiting on him to what? To get out of the building? To come drive the car? <laughs> um, he just parked us here, so I don't know. Yeah, but you, you know he doesn't have to drive you anywhere, but it's his car. He doesn't have to take you anywhere if he doesn't want to. I understand. Well, he already took me here, so I'm in the car. I'd, I'd like to, you know, go back to my house whenever he's ready, basically. So I'm just sitting in the car. Okay, but do you realize that if he doesn't want to take you, you, you have to get out because it's his car, it's his property? I don't think so. I think no, because yeah, I'm perfect. I'm letting you know. But that's how that works. Okay, well, I'm going to be sitting here. <laughs> so, whenever he's ready. But he doesn't want to drive. You don't want to drive her home? No, I do not. I think he might no, be having not. some sort of, like, is... like early dementia or something. But he is yeah, not acting like himself. Um, we were just going to go to Starbucks. And then he said that he had to go. And I can't remember if he said he needed to take a package somewhere. Yeah, I didn't bring her down here. I, I got her a couple of gift cards because she doesn't have a job. He did. He, well, he apartment. just got me a gift She's card. She's supposed to be in a rehab facility, but somehow managed to get kicked out of it. And showed up back at the apartment. So I felt sorry for her. My mistake. Gave her more money. Gave her more things to do. Took her here so she could get food. Not only did she not get food, she refused to get out of the car. And now she refuses well, to I'm get just, out of it at all. I'm and just trying to spend the, the, the day with I'm him. Sorry, or like, like, crazy, go out and run errands. We're just it's trying to run ridiculous. errands. Um, you said she was evicted from the apartment. Does she not? Ha so that's not where she lives anymore? I still live there. She is in the process of eviction. I don't think okay. they've got a final order for it yet. Okay. So she can still be but there. She doesn't really want it either way. Um, where I live normally. I'm not trying to live in this car. You know what I mean? So Yeah, but you're not trying to get out of this car. Correct. Which right now, now you're breaking the law because it's not your car. So you're trespassing. So I go on Ubers. I okay. Go on Ubers With or... the permission of the person. He does not want you in his car. You're trespassing mm, in no, his truck. And okay, so we can play this game, but you're gonna get arrested. I mean that's literally how it's gonna be, or you could just step out of the car. Like I'm not trying to be mean to you, but I'm trying to explain something to you and you're not really willing to listen. Um, you explained it to me, but I would like to shut my door now. I'm not doing that. It's not your door, it's not your car. Okay, I'll just ignore that then. Just get out, Alex. You're making a show. His out door? This. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to make a show out of it. It's just like it's frustrating. You see the problem, I didn't want to touch her at this point. No, I understand. I mean it's definitely your car and you want her out of the car. Can you remember that? I shouldn't have agreed to do it. She's had long time enabling this bad behavior. And um, it's my fault. I, okay. I enabled one more time. So it's not your car. If you want to you're trespassing. You gotta get out. Well, I think there's a misunderstanding. I think something's going on with my dad because he's not acting like himself. No, he's acting pretty normal to me. No, I think he's acting like he's got a problem. Or do I register to Jackson? Maybe like he has early onset like dementia, Alzheimer's. Can we talk outside outside outside? Outside? No, no. You guys are right here. I'm fine. I'm not stepping out. Um, and I feel like usually you ask why? people not to step out of the car. Why? What? Why won't you get out? Why don't you want to get out? Um, it's on principle at this point. Uh, but. But you understand that you're probably going to end up going to jail then, right? Karen's husband, realizing he has overindulged their daughter, finally seems to have realized the monster he made and is trying to rectify that mistake. However, his daughter is not having any of it, and she is taking a stand for her wants because it's the principle of the thing. 
You do know that usually, like, if you pulled me over on a highway, we'd both have to pull, pull over, park together. We're not doing and that. And I would not be allowed out of my vehicle, in fact. You'd say, roll down the window and please present your papers to me. That's what you would say. And I would give but you But I may. Sometimes I also ask a lot of people out of the car, too. Okay, well, this isn't... Really, but your dad wants you out of the this car. This doesn't feel like, um... A very real situation. Like, and it doesn't feel like we're bothering anyone. So do you want to press charges for trespassing? I do. I mean, you can't just press charges like that. You can. You can. No, you can't. So do you want to get out of the car or not? Um, you, don't you guys have anything better to do today? We actually do. Yeah, like, so I don't know so what you guys are like up to. Why don't you guys out in your cars? I don't want to take we a ride to the jail. I would, I would love to. I would hate that. You know what? I love riding around places. I love going on errands. I love driving. Love all of it. This is going to be one of those situations on when you go down to the jail. People are like, what are you in for? And you say, because I wouldn't get out of the car. People are going to be like, that's a stupid reason to go to jail. Yeah, I mean, do. really, there's really not a really good reason to go to jail, but that's really stupid. Well, it's more stupid of you guys because it's just a lot of paperwork and a we lot don't of trouble. Want to be here, but we're, we're public servants. We've been called here. You're we've not a seven. servant. We've been summoned here. So we're here to solve a problem. Unfortunately, do you have a payroll? The problem is that you're in the car. Is to solve the problem. I don't think there's not a solution. You there isn't a solution. The, the solution is that you step out, either stand over here, you could sit, there's a bench over here, there's a bench there, I there's a bench over out. there. Okay, yeah, go ahead and stand out of the car. <laughs> no, I stepped out. It's fine. Please allow me to. No, shut you're not my closing doors. the door. So. I don't want to shut it on you. Karen's daughter, already having been playing the game of fuck around and find out, tries to secure a win with a new strategy. Let's see how that strategy plays out. I don't want to like. Do? I can promise you, you're not. Please stop touching me. this car because it's not your car. It's not yours either. Well, that's okay. All right, you're gonna end up. No. Gonna end up you are. Stop. Step on out. I'm just gonna pull you out. I mean, at the end of the day, you're gonna come out of the car. So do we have to make this harder? I don't want. Don't to. pull my arm out of its socket. Well, step out. Don't touch me. Just hold, we'll just get the statement. We're not in a hurry. Okay. Don't touch me. Don't molest me, please. What's gonna end up happening is. We're going to end up having to use force them. I would like to press charges to for assault and the well, assault charge. Assault. I just was assaulted. It battery. So I want to press charges for battery. Okay. Don't get that. It's I want to press charges. It's a lawful. I would like to press charges. You don't get to. I'm being held against my will. Great. Get out of the car. <laughs> no, you're, I'm being held against my will. Please yeah. leave. No. So these are the options. You can get out of the car. You can leave on your own accord. You can walk away. Or you're going to end up going with us. Get a judge or something. Like I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. Get a judge and a jury and take me to trial. Like I don't really understand. So mail me some papers. I mean, I don't know. What, like, would you like to mail? Uh, whatever the charges are. Like, let me know. Well, right now, are you gonna give me a ticket? Why don't you just give me a ticket? Well, we could give you, but you have to get out of the car. That's the problem. So the main. Or a verbal warning. Be like, hey, please don't sit in people's cars so, again if they don't want you in them. So that we've tried that. We're trying to get you out. No, you didn't. But anyway. Um, so my dad issue. is obviously like demented and he's got like an issue that I can't diagnose, right? Um, I'm, I don't know what to do because he's getting older. Really? Yes. In fact, we live at the same building. Okay. I am his caretaker. So, so you're his caretaker? Yes, I am. Okay. And you know what? And how do you care for him? Um, I take care of him. How? Um, I take care of him. Do you work? Yes, I do. I, I work a lot. I do things. It doesn't matter. What do you do? You sound a lot like my brother used to sound you before do? he burned my mom's house down. What do you do? You just like police stuff? What is that? Like, what is policing? That is literally my job. I'm a, a, a supervisor. But here's the issue. Your father is wanting you out of the car. He's yeah. willing to press charges. Therefore, you're going to end up going with us because you're refusing to get out of the car. We, I literally cannot be nicer to you. It's like, what if we're in my doorway at my house and like Again, you were scenario. holding it? Different scenario, different rules, different times, different things. Okay, this isn't your car. Is that your street? It's part of the city. Is that your pavement? It's the cities. Or you, is just that your stone? It's the cities. Okay, so the city. Why okay, don't and the you brick. Go? Who runs the city? Who's like who owns the pavement? I want to talk to whoever owns the road. Who do you think that would be? I don't know. Well, I, I think you would have to try to get in contact with them or something. I don't have to do anything. I don't know. Talk to the bank that like rents out that pavement. I don't know what to tell you. Call someone. 
but it'd be really cool if you would just let me shut the door. Yeah. I'm not a dog dying in a hot car, okay? Though Karen's daughter is not a dying dog in a hot car, she is a spoiled brat making demands in a car. You go by Alex, Alex, you go by? When am I called? No, when you go by do you like to be called Alex, 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 Alex? I don't like to be called at all. You know what? I don't like to be called at all. Okay, what what is your name? Do you want to put where you see your daughter? Why do you need to know that? All right, Alexandria. I'm again going to politely ask you to get out of the car. I would tell you my name if I wanted to. Things are going to go not your way in a minute. I don't have them. And I would prefer them not go down that way. Yeah, but they're going to get worse. They're going to get worse. Because what's going to end up happening is you're going to get take, forcefully taken out of the car. And I don't want to do that. Because I don't want to, I don't want us to get it hurt and I don't want you to get hurt. So I really would like you to get out of the car so that we don't have to force you to get out of the car. Or that force doesn't have to be used. Defiance. That's your choice? Defiance. Yeah. So you understand the risk that you're taking with this, right? <sighs> okay. Thanks. Um, no. Um, you're insulting me. What are you doing? No, I'm not going to be why. Put your hands behind your back. No. You're under arrest. No. You're going to be placed I'm under not under arrest. arrest. You I'm are. under cardiac arrest. No. You're under arrest for trespassing and resisting. You can't do that. We can. can. No, you're not going to. You're not going to. Stop. Stop. I wish we didn't have to. Stop. I wish we didn't have Stop. to. Stop. We tried to work it out with you. Stop. And for whatever reason you decided Stop. not to. Stop. Stop policing me. Bye, Alex. I'm sorry that this is the way that we have to go. This is not the law. I'm not resisting. No, stop searching me. Stop touching me. I have to search you. Hey. You're molesting me. You're sexually assaulting me. Stop. You are sexually stop. assaulting me. No. She's not. Yes, she no, she's is. Not. Dad, help me. Please help me. Please help me. Stop. Get off me. Stop. Get off me. Stop. 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 Resisting. Stop. Now you're getting a felony. You have violated the Get law. off me! Stop touching me! Stop resisting. Stop touching me! Stop resisting. Stop touching me! He's mentally ill. Stop touching me! Oh, my arm! Stop it! Sit in the car. Stop it! Can you please pick up your knife and sit in the car? I don't want to have to help you. I got it. Sorry. It appears that after exhausting all of her strategies to win the game of fuck around and find out, Karen's daughter lost. I'm so sorry. Okay. You too? Yes. Right. So we're going to tell you that resisting. Okay. Listen, if you try to hurt us again, you're going to either end up being tased. Me hurt you? You guys were hurting me. Okay. Well, you you kicked, guys, you you guys both actually of assaulted me. You, kicked both of them. you grabbed me and then she touched so my breast for no the, reason. Well, so I don't really so know. You know. So if you touched breath. me inappropriately as well on my skin, take you know that you don't need breath. to contact me like that. I was take in handcuffs already. Breath. And listen to what I'm telling My hands you. were behind my back. So you know, you shouldn't have searched me like that. And I, I should have had a search privately, first of all. You should have not been out here, not with her and doing it. Second. And you're embarrassing me in public. You're actually kind of, it's libel. It's a lot of libel. Listen, you're embarrassing yourself. We're going to open the door, okay? You're going to get put back in handcuffs. If you fight us... Do you have a, like, liability policy? Like, do you guys have, like, some sort of, a, like, commercial stop. health insurance? Do not fight us, okay? What are you so scared of? I don't want to get back I mean, like... Yeah, I, I want would. them. Why don't I get to keep them? No, don't touch me. See? You're touching me again. Stop it. Stop touching me. I don't want to. No, what are you doing now? No, what are you doing before? You're just going back and forth. You're under arrest. Oh, Miranda Rice. Miranda Rice, no. If you were this, you are resisting. I'm resisting. Yes, you are. So stop. You've already got battery on LEO. Stop. 
On a Leo? Yes. On an August birthday? <laughs> on a Leo? What? No, no, no. Get, get off me. I don't want to be handcuffed. I don't want to be tied down. Stop it. Nobody really does want that. You're constricting me. I can't breathe. You're constricting me. You're not doing anything. You're, you're hurting me. Oh. You are physically hurting me right now. My chest hurts, my head hurts, my hands hurt, my wrist hurts. I know it hurts. And my shoulder blades, and my shoulders, and my back. Which is where all my organs are, by the way, so thank you. You're not cooperating. You are not cooperative. We are not a co-op. We are not a co-op. We are not a corporation. We are not a co-op. You're not a cop. You're a robber. You're stealing me. You're kidnapping me. You're abducting me. Karen's daughter, not only being ignorant of where the vital organs in one's torso are located, is also a soft sit, or at the very least, a soft sit wannabe. Have a seat. Sit back. Sit back. was booked and released but there are no details on what she was charged with or the consequences thereof. Back at her house the next day Karen's daughter decided to invite some friends over and have a nice lazy day in her backyard to distress from the previous day's events. Tabitha. You were not invited here. I am not me. talking to you. They weren't from Monty. I, I, I did that why, for you. Why are you over here? Over I here. did that yeah, for you. you know, Tabitha. Tabitha. I have nothing to say to you. Nothing. I yeah. never wow. did anything why to you. you. I have nothing here. to say to you. Walk back to your lot here. Oh, I wish he walked on my side of the grass. Here, Listen. Is that a threat? No, it's a promise. Get it's not here. a threat. It's a promise. Tabitha. No. Walk hey. up. No, Calm, that's not hey. a threat. Calm Just me. walk on my side. Listen, go in the house. Do you want to go in handcuffs? Don't, I don't, don't, do don't go nobody. back on her property again. She won't. Enjoy your Christmas don't gift that I bought you, not Monty. Again. Turn around and go. Monty, don't Turn even like your ass. I got her. I got her. Don't go back on yeah, her property. She, won't. she I, invited I, me. But, I, but the next time. Absolutely, she did I, not invite you if she's sitting there yelling hey, at you on. to get no, off the next time, to our ring The camera. next time they call the cops for no reason, then you guys need to you do something You go back over there, I'm going to arrest you. Don't go back over there. You will arrest She did not invite you. Listen to her Just stay camera. off the property. Just go in the house, man. If you want to come out here and cause a disorder, I'll arrest you for disorderly conduct. If you want to be persistent, I'll take you to jail on it. Hey, look, go Listen. in the house. Calm down. Go in the house. Hey, what they don't realize, what they don't realize, okay, <laughs> this is private property. You don't go back on their property. Thank you. Appreciate okay. it. But we will say what we want on this property. I mean, All these neighbors need to mind their business. <laughs> hey. I I already, I already, Tabitha, I already told you quit being disorderly. 
You want to run it again, I'll arrest you, take you to jail. Go look in her house. Why don't you do a drug bus? Go inside and be quiet. Well, I went out on my back porch and she was hollering because Sharon called the cops. And I said, Sharon. The lady I was just talking to? Yeah. I said, Sharon didn't call the cops on you, Tab. She I didn't. Said, I said, I just was talking to them because she was trying to motion to me and I didn't, couldn't hear her. Yeah. Because she was on the back patio hollering at me. Right. And I said, no, you accused me of calling the cops on you earlier today, Tab, and I didn't do She's it. She's obviously saying you invited her over here. No, she ago. said, can but I? The, I know, but the way you were saying it, I'm like, she didn't invite you over here. <laughs> she asked me, could I walk to the fence and talk to her? And I said, no, I have nothing to say to you, nothing at all. Right. So right. then I walk out here and she's coming across my yard. I already gave her a warning to stay off the property. So if she comes back on the property, I told her I'll arrest her. So if she walks back over here, I'll See, this is what I'm going to have to deal with all night long. Well, if she comes back over here, I'll arrest her if you want that. <laughs> well, the whole neighborhood. Quit being disorderly. All right, well, let us know if anything else occurs. I'm sure I'll Thanks. be calling you later. Thanks, Rose. You're welcome. It's your Tabitha. Just turn about my grass. Mow it. I told you to stop. Go to the your house. Listen, I told my you to stop. My kid's father's at the hospital dying. I and you're worried you. about my grass. Mow it. Get, get, get control. You and your weird ass. Yeah. Yeah. Go inside. And you're not worried about it like you said. Fucking mow it. Say shit to you with your dope ass. Get, get her inside, Here, please, before that. I take her to jail. Your dope Mom. ass son, try to give me acid. What you do I about that? You. Give me a drug test. Tabitha. I am sober. Tabitha, stop. So what are we gonna do to stop this? Am I gonna have to take everybody to jail for the persistent disorder? Walk over to your shit. I can't hear you. Can I talk to this man for a minute? God damn, that's she, exactly what they want. I'm so sorry. Hey, I've been dealing with this shit forever. Can I talk to him for a minute? Go in your house. No, I'm going to start butting. I, I am your mother. Tabitha. I don't care, I, Mom. Look, you need to calm sorry. down. You are my mom, but you're sitting here acting like... Can I talk to him for a minute? You know what? Quit running your mouth and mow your mouth. Mom, mow your mouth. Is she really worth all that? Can you go in the house? You're so worried about shit. Have another unit. Go in the house. You know, Tom, there's nothing I could do to calm I you down. I am tired of it! Handle you. 14, 10, my out. boss can write out something! 11 hour shift! I work my ass off! I got off early today! I enjoyed my pool! That's all I did! What do you do? Leave off the government! Work from home! Get a job get a life i am so tired of these neighbors i'm so tired My what i'm concerned fed. about is you guys all yelling at each other and it's not getting you these anywhere. neighbors suck you know if karen's daughter thinks everyone around her sucks maybe it's her who sucks and not them just saying well, you can either move or, Outside or ignore of all, it. Oh, no. Trust me, it's You coming. either deal with it or move. It's That's coming. your option. Yeah. I don't know. I might stay and let them love me in, in, more than what they do now. Or we can fart into the wind and they call you guys out here. Maybe I'll stay Calling forever. Calling the police isn't illegal. Yeah. Yes, please. So, so well, the neighbor came up to the PD. What's that? The neighbor here yes. came up to the PD and okay. that's Cap was talking to him and sent okay. me out here. Basically, she's highly intoxicated. Went over there after I had already like told her boyfriend or husband here what was going on. He talked to me, calm, uh, no big deal. I was about to leave. This lady comes out saying something to me I can't hear in the car, so I get out and went and talked to her. Mm -hmm. uh, as I'm talking to her, this lady's intoxicated, walks over to her property, who's the and she's over there and they're starting to get into a yelling match. Disorderly conduct. Yeah. So I already warned her on persistence. So I already warned her on quit being disorderly several times. So. I told her if she goes back on this lady's property, we'll arrest her for trespass. trespass, yep. So, Tabitha, you are going to get a, a citation for disorderly conduct for your behavior today, okay? If I go beat her ass, will nope. you just arrest me? 
We sure will. Like, if I beat her ass, just arrest me for something that I'm... No, if I'm getting a citation, just arrest Tabitha. me for beating Relax. her ass. Relax. I will gladly go to jail. No, I don't deserve that. I did shit wrong. Okay, I did so nothing listen. wrong. Tabitha. I'm here. I'm in my yard. Once again, Karen's daughter is about to play Fuck Around and Find Out. Will she win? Let's see what happens. But if you're giving like, me a citation okay. or giving me something, give me something. I've warned her for already. Okay, she's so. going to be arrested. Okay, be arrested. okay, if I'm going to be arrested, okay, I'm beaten. Don't touch me. Don't, please don't touch me. Would you resist me? me. I'm going to take Don't touch me. Please, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Get off of me. I Get up. I did not do shit wrong. Relax. Hey, hey this is not going to change the outcome. Just stop, okay? This is I not going to change the outcome. Now you're resisting. Now you're, Relax. Relax. Now you're resisting. Because I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying I'm fed up. I'm human. Relax. They have caused trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Caused trouble. I got, it. I got her arm. Stop. Why do you have to do it so tight? Put your hand behind, behind my hands, hands. Let Put your, your hand behind your hands. It is. Ma'am, stand over there. Put your hand behind it your hands. It is. No, put your hand behind your hands. No, because you got it so tight. Put your hand behind your back. Relax. Yeah, and I'm making good money, too. Try to catch up on everybody's. I can't sleep. I asked her for what? Stick her in the car. For what? For what? Walk to the car here. Lift up. Well, I can't lift up if you're holding on to me. You're not doing it. Listen to what I'm telling you. I can't you. if you're holding on to me. Go ahead, sit in the car. God. Get in the car. Sit in the car. I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Seriously? Yeah. Seriously. Why? All right. Why? Bad. Stop! Let me, talk, let me talk to her. Let me talk to her. Oh, let, let me shut the door first. Once we shut the door, you can talk to her. Put your foot in the car. Yeah, put that foot in the car. Put can I get foot. the foot? Put your put foot, in the, foot in the car. Now. Come on now. Put, put your foot in the car. I, you know I didn't do anything. No, put you put your foot in the car. No, because they don't want to mind their business. I didn't do shit wrong. Put your foot in the car. I can't. I can get her to put her foot in the car. We're not the physical stuff. Go ahead. Good. Good. I didn't know. Okay. Get her to put her foot in the car. I will. Tap. Tap. This is nothing. Come on. Come on. Nope. No, you know I didn't do you anything. You did. You did. But okay. Put your foot in the car. All right. What did I do? You're going to sober up, and then I'm going to come and get you. Okay. Come on. Come on. Put your foot in the car. Stop. Because I had some drinks okay, at my fine. own house. <clears throat> you're fine, though. My own privacy that you're I'm paying for. You're fine. You're fine. Put your foot in the car. You're going to sober up. And no, I want you. clothes on. I'm not putting my foot. In, I want clothes on. Oh, so we're not letting her get out, so you can you're grab a jacket out. or something to slip well, on. Well, I'm not shutting the door to put your clothes on no, you because will. this you is will. inappropriate. You will. You will. No, you I'm will. not. Okay, all right, back, back up. Back I want up. my back clothes. Sure, just do me a favor and back, back up. up. Back I up. want my back clothes. Will you listen, please? Back I up. want my clothes. God damn! I want my clothes. Put your foot in the car. Can I please have Put your foot in the car. Stop resisting. Stop resisting and put your foot in the car. Will you sit in there with what you was doing without Do what I did. Okay, all right. Put your foot in the car because you're facing more charges the more that you do this, put your feet in the car. We'll talk about the clothes. We're not taking the handcuffs off and you're not getting dressed right now. I just want clothes. Stop and listen to me. Stop and listen to me. You are not getting She's got a towel. Listen, put your feet in the car. This is going to go really bad for you. I promise you. You need to put your feet in the car. I didn't do anything. Absolutely you did. I did. I'm sorry. I just want clothes. You didn't listen. Put your feet in the car. We will have the discussion about how we can get your clothes. But no, until you do that, you do not control the situation. You are under arrest. Oh, so you are under arrest. I know. I get Put that. And I understand. I just want clothes we'll on. We'll take clothes with you, but you need to put your feet in the car. Otherwise, there's no clothes coming with you, and this is exactly how you ride. That's your two options. Do what we ask you to do, and we'll work with you, or be dis disrespectful and uncooperative, and 
I'll push your feet in there, and you can kick and scream all you want all the way I to the win. Table. With the whole community listening to you. you I put just your feet want in there. clothes on. Put your feet in there. <laughs> we'll get you some clothes. I promise we'll get you some clothes. The whole community is looking at you. Look right around. Right there. They all oh, know. But She's not getting that until she cooperates. Is this the thing back there for? Put your feet in. I'm not closing the door, but put your feet in. Work with me. I'll keep this door open. Put your feet She's in. Put this t-shirt on? In a minute. Down. We got a t-shirt for you, but we can't put it on you until you cooperate and put your feet in the car. I work in the morning. You're not going to work yeah. anymore. You're going to jail. There's yep. no discussion about that. Karen's daughter appears to have lost the game of fuck around and find out again and in her intoxicated state may or may not realize the consequences of her actions. Now whether or not they'll bond you out, whether you come out on your own or more, I can tell you Persistent disorderly conduct. I explained that to you. You didn't listen to me. Persistent disorderly conduct. You were giving me. Uh, no, I explained it to you several times. No, you said you were giving me a citation. And then you said for you what? were going to go beat your neighbor's ass you can go to no, jail. While well, no. your neighbors are standing outside. And you're going nice. towards their house. They weren't outside. Tabitha, they were Tabitha, we have an obligation to stop you from going to your I neighbor's property. I have cameras all over. When he told me. When he told me. I'm going to put your feet in the car, and if I get hurt, then you're going to get charged with a felony. Do you understand that? I'm trying to make everybody <laughs> be <laughs> they hurt I'm me. Hurt me. Taste me. Shoot me. I don't give a do I don't care do the because I didn't do shit wrong. I didn't do shit wrong. Don't kick at him. I didn't do it wrong. I didn't do anything else, sir. I worked my ass off. I'm giving you the opportunity to get out of the bar. Come on, let's go. Yeah, and I have an opportunity to call my lawyer because I did nothing wrong. I own my own property. Let's go. I did nothing wrong. Karen's daughter, Tabitha Payton, was charged with criminal trespassing, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest, and was given a $10,000 bond. She pled guilty to trespassing and disorderly conduct. She was given a 30-day jail sentence for the first charge and 20 days in jail plus 24 hours of community service for the second charge. The third charge, resisting arrest, was dropped. Remember, folks, that life is tough for all of us these days, and Karen isn't afraid to bitch, piss, and moan about it. Until next time, this has been What the Hell, Karen? <laughs> <laughs>